Hello everyone, in this video I will have a confrontation training battle in the abandoned Oasis map. Okay, here begins. I'm going to start with three barracks at three different locations and add it to supply center at the beginning. Infantry production, then scouting. Okay, and having a bit problem while collecting the resources since I also have to deploy my base at the same time. So I missed a few places uh, before passing there and could not collect the resources at all sides. And now going to scout the enemy base. Okay, already got level 2 HQ and he's adding supply centers. And on the other hand, I have level 2 HQ, but I do not have the resources enough to build this many supply centers. Right now, I'm just a little behind. Uh, since assault infantry cost 40 resources, while riflemen 34 and for constructing barracks, uh, resistance barracks require 80 resources for well, confederation 100. That means for three barracks, I have to spend 60 resources extra. Okay, and he's going level 3 HQ very surprisingly. And since he's much ahead in terms of developing his base, so I'm using some assault infantries to harass him to slow down his development a bit. He's having one coyote here. Okay, added my fourth barrack here. Okay, now going to retreat since my assault infantries are in a separated position. They all need to be gathered at one place to be more effective okay and I'm planning to go for a rush because I'm hoping that he might try to go for Hawks and before he does that I need to take care of it okay now sniper towers those are quite tough thing for assault inventory to handle Okay, retreating again and going to add some hammers this time since he's going full Cody. Okay, one Cody for scouting. And I'm not leaving my position, I'm standing here and going to send some hammers as reinforcements, also assault infantry, so it's just a uh, hammer assaults. He's uh, placing sniper towers. And if you just have sniper towers, then it's uh, not possible to stop hammer assaults with a lot without a lot of units. But however, if he adds gun tower, then surely my rush will fail. Okay, I sent one infantry in front for scouting. Okay, a lot of coyote. Now I'm retreating on the other side of the bridge. Okay, let's cut off a few part. All right, so after having a few hammers, I'm going to attack, having the hammers in front. And he also added porcupine, armadillos are also here. So it looks like he does have a good number of units since he developed a lot faster than I did.
Okay, I took down this one sniper tower. And those porcupines armadillos are quite tough. Okay, I have to retreat once more. It's a difficult pathway for reinforcing uh, because at the other side of the bridge the units just move here and there. I'm intending to go HQ3 for Zeus production and still holding my position at the hostile side of the bridge. And also there will be special vehicle factory since he can also produce hogs and I need some protection against those. So I think we destroyed most of the vehicles here. And reinforcing as well. However, these sniper towers are uh, be, being quite a bit much of a trouble. So I have to retreat once again since he's spreading sniper towers to different locations. And so... Okay, and adding bunkers on the other side because there um, is a possibility that attacks may come from that side as well. Okay, let's cut up a few more part. Okay, so now here I'm adding Typhoons with my units and also Zeus, Hammers and Assault Infantry at the same time and also having HQ level 3, I added a few more supply centers. I have 7 supply centers now so that my resource income can compete his Okay, I will try to send one hammer for scouting the enemy base from behind. But sadly, this one hammer uh, got cut up at the range of one sniper tower. Okay, one hawk. But I already have enough Typhoons. Okay, uh, all this time he didn't, didn't have a scout at my base and after this attack he at least now know that I'm uh, supplying, adding more vehicles. So he was adding gun towers, that's why I immediately went for attack for not giving him a time to add more gun towers. Okay, we took down this one airfield, however, there are a lot of vehicles, armadillos and porcupines. Okay, I'm going to move at the other side of the bridge once again. Okay, now I'm moving back for attack since at this location I do have a better space for attacking. Okay, now he's advancing for attack. Okay, he's attacking and then retreating. And this kind of thing uh, can be dangerous for infantries since uh, the, these vehicles can attack while moving but my infantry uh, needs to be on a stationary position 
Now they're moving again, but they are already inside the firing radius of my Zeus. So I uh, did took down a lot of vehicles. I think also lost a lot of infantry though. And now going myself for vertex production since he doesn't have any anti-air at his base. Having vertex will be useful uh, if, if he doesn't have any anti-air. Okay, so he's returning back and I'm going to add vertex along with my units. At this time, I'm not going to produce any more hammers, so just Zeus and assault infantry. Hammers uh, are not that much powerful to fight against this many vehicles. Alright, so now we already have one vertex and we are going to, we were going to attack, but, okay, he attacked me from behind with a lot of vehicles. And it was for lack of scout, I did not uh, know that before. However, I had two bunkers for defenses, that's why he did not manage to take uh, did such a big loss but instead he had to face encounter a lot of casualties here you can see he actually lost a lot of vehicles just a few armadillos are returning back Reconstruction for recovering to supply centers and just one bunker right now since he doesn't have enough units to attack me from this location again. And since he already lost uh, all those units of his, I'm intending to attack at this moment. Okay, fortunately, he doesn't have any anti-air and also no porcupines. I took down one gun tower and going after the second one as well. Okay, now we're moving and he's going for level 3 special vehicle factory for chameleon and both gun towers are taken care of now I will just be supplying more and more units Yeah, and Zeus uh, proved to be quite strong. He did not have the chance to do anything. He got one chameleon out, but it's already too late. Yeah, GG. Yeah, so, thanks for watching. I'm finishing this video here.